But yeah, how y'all doing? Thanks for joining me again. This is my real walkthrough of Bioshock Remastered. Done many practice runs of this level, level two medical pavilion, pavilion rather. And um, well, let's give it a shot. Uh, I got lots of strategies worked out, but now I'm gonna mix in live commentary. So often uh, some of those strategies get uh, they go completely sideways. But uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, Atlas, tell us all about it. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. Emergency access just around the corner. First of all, let's go collect some money. We're maxed out on health and Eve. How'd you do that? Slack, watch the previous video. So we can pick up this or this. Look at that. And let's go hack our first security bot right here. Hacking is easy. Just read these uh, little tutorials here and explain the whole thing. Find pipe segments by revealing hidden tiles. Pick up pipes and swap them with one another to create a connected line, guide the flow of metal, da, 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 da. okay? There's the start, there's the finish, you have to make a connected line from the start to finish, that's basically the whole thing. Usually what I like to do is either buy time or uncover as many tiles as possible. Here this is an easy hack, so it's already completed connected line from the start to the finish, and once you've done that, you can press the increase flow speed button to just zap it right through in the middle. We have hacked our first security bot, I dubbed the Buzz. Buzz can be deactivated. If you don't want him in the mix, deactivate him or reactivate him. Right? Hello, Buzz. Let's go, Buzz. Now, here are the Bickersons. The Bickersons will fight amongst themselves until one of them dies. Typically. Sometimes Mrs. Bickerson will go running out here. After one of them dies, shoot the other one and Buzz will attack him or her. That's all I have to do to get Buzz to attack an enemy. Shoot the enemy. There we go. Mr. Brickerson survived. Shoot him. And this will activate Buzz. Let him do all the heavy lifting. You can help him out a little bit if you want. And down he goes. Get some pistol rounds. Oh, and he has a first aid kit. I've noticed this is random. Sometimes he will have a first aid kit. Some pistol... I'm going to be speed looting here, so once again, uh, forgive me if I miss stuff. That's just the way it is. I'm, yeah, don't forget these machine gun rounds here. We're going to pick up a machine gun shortly. And if you got dinged up a little bit, there's always bandages in this desk here. So take those. And that is random. So that's that. All right, now we're going to put Buzz down for a minute. Take him out of the mix. Buzz will take damage. All right, so you want to save him for important tasks. Okay, this is the way to continue. Take this. Get the Zapparoo up. Zapper. Zap. If you want to use the emergency access, you'll be needing Dr. Stoyman's key. He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect him to hand it to you out of the milk of human kindness. Stoyman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Okay, get the key from Dr. Steinman. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. And I'll show you what's up, okay? This is all the areas that we have to explore. We're there, and we have to get there. The access key from Dr. Steinman, which will allow us to exit here. That's the whole point of this level, alright? Now, playing on survivor difficulty, this is going to be a bitch. you got to plan everything carefully. Otherwise, you're going to burn through your resources by the time you get here. Okay, you're going to burn through your resources very very quickly unless you apply some specific strategies and that's what i'm here that's what i'm here for number one absolutely number one we want to go for the incinerate plasmid the incinerate plasmid is right in this area here in the crematorium okay that is priority number one we need the incinerate plasmid so that we go down into the dental services area and get the uh, telekinesis plasmid after we get the telekinesis plasmid we can go here to the to Dr. Steinman's area and we're going to run into a nitro splicer right here and he's going to block off a certain area and the only way we're going to be able to unblock that area is by using the telekinesis plasmid to catch and throw one of his bombs to blow open that door all right so you absolutely have to get the telekinesis plasmid in the basement in the tele in the uh, dental services area and to get that we're going to have to melt down some ice 
And to do that, we're gonna have to get the incinerate plasma. Did you get all that? Good. Because there's gonna be a pop quiz tomorrow. Let's get going. Your life's gonna depend on it. Okay, here's our first major major battle. A whole bunch of splicers are gonna come out there. Eight to be exact. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, this is the trigger, okay? As soon as you take the electrical hit the electrical override switch, they're gonna come pouring out there. Um, what we can do is smash this glass in advance. There we go. And hook up our pistol. As soon as we take that, wait for one of them to show up, shoot them to let them know where we are. Then we're gonna go back here, hook up the machine gun, and make a stand up right here and blow them away as they come in. I wouldn't recommend using the zap and whack method because there's just not enough time to reload everything. Okay, there's just not enough time. So I'd recommend using the machine gun first. And then uh, we'll take it from there. And that's the plan. Let's do it. There we go. Pull the trigger. Door opens up. Shoot one to let me, let them know where we are. Switch over to the machine gun. Make stand off here. All right, quiet on the set, people. Short controlled burst. And do a kill count. That's two. That's three. That's four. And we're running out. It's time for the zap. And whack method. Lost count. I think that's five. I believe that's six. But it gets down to dull roar. That's where we're going to go back and activate Buzz. When you deactivate Buzz, he starts ticking, eh? And when he starts ticking really fast, that means he's about to blow up. He starts ticking faster and faster, so you can't leave him deactivated too long. Okay, let's activate him for these last few splicers here. This is not bad. This is pretty par for the course. Very good. This way, Buzz. Okay, we're gonna uh, take a pot shot at one of them. Here we go. Shoot him, Buzz. Buzz, get in the war, a boy. Now you want to help out Buzz as much as possible because we need him for another very important task later on. So you don't want to burn him out too much. Are you stuck? Down you go. Whenever he gets stuck, just deactivate him and up he goes again. Alright, so, everybody give up your union dues. You give it up. I think we're good. Let's go take those bandages. Did we already take them? Okay. Who's left? Okay, we got one left up there. Maybe two. I just want to get a line of fire on them and then take a pot shot and get Buzz in the water. Combat is really unforgiving. Really unforgiving. Don't take too much damage, Buzz. I need you. What the hell? Uh oh. 
I'm on my own. <laughs> Have you go, guys. Shoot her. She's stuck too. I'll oh, take advantage of this. <laughs> In my best Nelson butts. <laughs> okay, so. Is that it? Because I'm getting a little stressed out here. That looks like about it. Okay, buzz my man, take a break. Oh jeez. <laughs> Where'd you go? Okay, and... That's not what I meant to do. Um, let's hook up one of these... Uh, this one here, I believe. Yeah, we haven't heard this one here. You all listen to this while I go looting. to another one. Dr. Steinman said he'd release me today. Ryan didn't come to see me since the New Year's attack, not once. But Dr. Steinman was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was going to fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. He's sweet, all right. So interested in my case. Oh, poor girl. Okay, so this is the way to continue. We get some weird ghost like pretty. stuff happening here. And let's go into the next area the foyer. Okay, this is what I call the turret room, so we don't need Buzz. Buzz, you go down. Just wait there. I'll be right back, okay? Two turrets to hack here. There's one right behind there. If we go at him before uh, Atlas starts talking, he'll be kind of like, yeah, okay, let's just do it here. Yeah, okay, right now. Like that, okay? And, yeah. So zap it with the electric bolt, and then you can hack it and turn it into a friendly turret. Often with these harder hacks, the first thing I want to do is establish a clear path from the entrance to the exit. Okay, so there we have a clear path. Sometimes the game screws you over it. it takes it down like a, you know, a path that, you know, it's impossible to complete. Make sure you establish a clear path. There we go. And we've hacked it. This is now our turret. This is great because we're low on pistol ammo. This thing to do, see an enemy, shoot it. Hunker down behind the turret. Let the turret do all the heavy lifting. Yeah, we got it, Atlas. We're on it. There you go. There's another turret right in there. Let's go get it. And turn that one into a friendly turret as well. Zap. Switch over to the pistol so that we don't use it because we emptied out our Eve. And I'll show you where we get some cigarettes so we can get a little more Eve so we don't have to keep up. Keep using up Eve hypos. There you go, about a lot of time. Put this guy up here. You just straighty and need another straighty and boom. Connected path. On the PC version, this is something I discovered recently. You can like increase the flow speed by just pressing the right mouse button. I never knew that before. Okay. Take that first aid kit. 
Okay, now our Eve bar is bottomed out. We don't want to use an Eve hypo. First of all, let's take care of this. Okay, she's activated. I've only got one pistol round left. There's two of them over there. Okay, that one went into that room where there's some water. We can zap her. Is this other one over here? I'm worried about. Oh, she went to the hell station. Okay, that's a problem. I'm done. I am done. Okay, here we go. I have no choice. Do this the hard way. Okay, Tyrick, get in the war. Out of boy. I dare. Are you dead? The lamb on here. Great. All right. <laughs> One bullet. <laughs> There's the war armor piercing. Don't want to use that up. Okay. Now you notice that uh, that splicer got some of her health back. She was almost dead, but she got some of her health back because she went to a a hell station. If you hack hell stations. Enemies will take damage instead of getting health from the hell station. Here's the hell station right here. So hack all hell stations, definitely. Let's put this guy up here. Make a clear path to the exit. Do we have a clear path to the exit? Let's buy some time. Good, and let's complete it. Complete, done and done. This is ours now. And you can spend 10 bucks, refill your health, we're not going to do that. And I hear Buzz getting a little fussy, so let's go reactivate him so he doesn't blow up. See, he's ticking really fast now. Why don't I use Buzz in here? Because I want to save him for a very specific task. A heavy duty task, so I don't want to kill him yet. <laughs> I don't want him to die yet. I think I see a pistol here. Bingo. Good. That's just what I need. Three rounds. The finest? <laughs> the finest. Okay, right around the corner here, you can ambush this guy who's leaning down. Why don't that? Right here. Yes? How dare you touch me? Come here now! Oh, she went for the hell station. Did I get her? Good. <laughs> okay. Hack this guy up. Same deal. Hack these hell stations so the enemies can't use them. Make a clear path to the exit. Let's buy some time. Here we go, so now I'll just uncover all the tiles we have a lot more to work with. And we need one of these. And we're done. There we go, this is our hell station. Another thing you could do with hell stations is just destroy them. Just go whack them with a wrench and they'll give up one or two first day kits. But of course you won't be able to use them anymore. Yeah, something to keep in mind. So every hell station is a free first day kit. There's some secrets, we don't need that. Okay, so we're still alive, still alive. The game's got a sense of humor. Here we go. <laughs> and uh, let me just... Uh... Okay, we're good. I 
believe there's a first day thing in here that I forgot to take. No, I did get it. Okay. She was up for the Next. The ammo bandito machine in here. Often there's a splicer in here, so watch it carefully. Looks good. Okay, let's hack this ammo bandito machine. Very important. I'll show you why in a minute. Start, finish. Let's make a clear path. Let's turn one of these guys around so we'll have a shorter path to go. And let's just make sure that we have a clear path to the exit. Indeed we do, okay? One of these guys. And another straighty, and we're done. Boom. This will give us cheaper prices on all the stuff in this machine. Most particularly, this anti personnel auto rounds. We desperately need this. Okay, so buy that. Buy that. That's for the machine gun. Alright. Okay, so that's that. Switch over to the anti personnel rounds. Grab that. I won't be able to play all the audio diaries. Because it's just not enough time, but it's going to slow down the, the walkthrough. I'll play them when I'm looting and stuff. Okay, so now we're ready to go for the incinerate plasmid. Is that somebody over there? Oh boy. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Come here and say that. Yeah, I got lost. <laughs> there we go. Get in the war. Which way is he going? Where are you? Here we go. Die. Die a horrible death. He did? Good. Leave those cigarettes alone. And let's go get Buzz. Buzz is sticking faster and faster, so up you go. Alright, Eternal Flame is where we're going. Buzz, you ready? This is it. Let's move out. Where are you? Here we go. Okay, here's the deal. There's going to be a Nitro Splicer in there. This, these are guys that throw bombs. They're really tough, especially on Survivor Difficulty. He's going to be throwing bombs, and we don't have the Telekinesis Plasmid, which is the best way to deal with Nitro Splicers. Just cache their, their bombs and throw them back, but we don't have Telekinesis back, so we're going to have to do this the hard way. Find the best way to do is just sick uh, buzz on them and go at them with the machine gun with anti personnel rounds and don't miss. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna zap them, switch over to the uh, machine gun, and hope for the best. Zap. Back this way, Buzz. Don't cause any trouble. There we go. Okay. There is coffee in this room that you can use to refill your Eve bar, so make sure you're aware of that. There's some there, and there's two thermoses there. So you use them wisely. Okay, Buzz, you hang out there while we get our stealth on. Okay. There's a camera right there. Security cameras. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan's eyes and ears. Okay, you can see the red light of the security camera there. When it goes back that way. It goes back that now we can go here. We're gonna do this in steps, okay? Watch it carefully, it's gonna come around here, see that goes that. Like over there, and when it goes back this way, we're gonna go around and push the button on the the furnace. Send that in. This is very important. Let's 
security cameras just went back again. We watch when we go back again. Thing comes out and we can grab this. Hacker's Delight. Every time we hack something, we get health back. This is very important. Alright? So you pick up your first physical tonic. Physical tonics makes you da 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 da. And we definitely want to equip that. So we're about to do some hacking. Okay. Camera goes back. There's the nitro splicer. Get some rounds here. Check that out. Watch for the camera light. It goes there. When it goes back, we're going to go right underneath it in a blind spot. Right underneath. This is something you're going to be doing often. Get it right underneath the camera in a blind spot. I can't see you. Okay? <laughs> Aha! And then you can hack it. Let's hack this sucker. Start, finish. Let's establish a clear path. Buy some time. And we're done. Alright, so this is our camera now. Great, we own this area. Excellent. Okay, let me just go reactivate Buzz. Actually, we can use him now. He has served his purpose. So everything else is now gravy. And yeah, I don't have any pistol rounds, so this could help a lot. Tell you what, I probably have uh, machine gun rounds. Yeah, there you go. This way, Buzz. Actually, I think we're going to handle them without Buzz. Because I remember she can be ambushed in the corner there. There she is. Uh oh. Buzz! Up you go! And I'm out of uh, Eve. So let's just go back and get some coffee. Here we go. Got a little more Eve. I missed my electric bolt. There we go. Go! Atta boy! Get in the war! Uh oh, Buzz is feeling a little whispery. Did you get him? Good, good boy Buzz. Here we got some pistol rounds. Oh, <laughs> we're good. This area should be clear. Now, we can get some machine gun rounds in here. And should be some health over here. right here and that is that so we have arrived there is the incinerate plasma that's what we want we desperately need that let's go get it incineration when it has absolutely positive when it absolutely positively has to erupt in flames I love it don't wait to incinerate Okay, so we have two plasma slots, one for Electro Bolt, and let's put Incinerate in the other one. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. Okay, now typically a whole bunch of splices come here. Just light up this oil slick here, and that lights them all up and takes care of them all. No problem at all. Every good. Okay, let me just play. Uh, I was at German prison camp, only a sixteen years old, when I realized I have love for science. German doctor, he make experiment. Sometimes he makes scientific error. I tell him of this error. 
How can a child know such a thing? I tell him sometimes I just know. He screams at me, then why tell me? Well, I said, if you are going to do such things, at least you should do them properly. Okay, that's all that uh, this area is going to give up. I don't feel like looking around anymore. We're right out of here. I'm going to show you what we need incinerate for. We have to melt two ice blocks. Coming, boys? boy. One of them is blocking our access to the dental service services area downstairs. So melt that. And make sure you, if you're going to bottom out your Eve bar, swap over to a weapon so you can go back and pick up some of this coffee to get a little more Eve. And then uh, you don't have to use an Eve bar. I think I see something over there. Yes, yeah, definitely like that. And this over here, melt this ice block here. Okay, same deal. Swap over to your weapon so you don't bottom out and accidentally uh, use an Eve typo. Come back here, find some more coffee. We'll take that, play it later. There's more coffee right there, and we got a little more heat, and that is it. Mission accomplished. That's where we're going next, the dental services area. That's coming up next video. As for this video, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this hot off the press. Alright, see you next video.